Kevin, um, rain started to fall on us here at, uh, after full time, but it's been uh, a successful day for your team today. They've come out winners 2-1 against Stamford, um, an important three points gathered in that push for a playoff place. Happy with what you saw? Very happy. Um, obviously with the three points first and foremost, but um, that's sort of the way you know we stood up to it today. Stanford, are, you know, strong physical outfit that you know, do, you know, do ask questions of you, um, and had some good moments in the game. There's no doubt about that. Brandon's had to make one or two saves, and but his handling was excellent today and, and needed to be. Um, but yeah, it, like delighted to bounce back after the disappointment of last Saturday. Uh, the way that the players have gone, you know, toe to toe with some strong, physically imposing players there, and, and coming out the other side of it is, yeah, just really pleasing for everybody, and, and, and nice to get back to winning ways. Sure. Um, obviously, your plans went a little bit awry in the first half, in that um, you put Matt Sensen into the starting lineup, but he had to come off with quite a nasty-looking gash to his head, I think, which he's told me he's had to have glued. Um, but Montel Gibson, you've spoken about people. When they get the opportunity of taking it, he's come on and two goals. Yeah, disappointed for Matt. You know, he's, he's very he's period with us this, this time around. He's been very stop start, hasn't it? And, you know, really frustrated for him. Um, he was doing well up until that point. And, you know, in the short period that he has played and had minutes for us, he's done very, very well. Um, and it would be nice to get him out there on a, on a you know, more regular basis and, and get some minutes under his belt. But, yeah, delighted for Montel. He'd obviously be disappointed to come out of the side. Um, a little bit frustrated with his performance last Saturday um, but yeah you know the way he's knuckled down and gone on there and showed a, a good attitude and application to, to what was needed was you know great credit to him and he's worked the target on, on a couple of occasions delighted he's got you know he's got two goals to his name and hopefully he can build on that moving forward sure uh, I know last week after the defeat at Sudbury I think you spoke about um the levels weren't quite there across the team. I did think appreciably that, that, that as, a, as a collective, the levels seemed higher this week, that there was a, a more of a return to, I guess, the, the, the side that you know you've got there. Yeah, I think the urgency that we showed and, and the way that we, you know, we passed the ball today was, was a whole lot better than last week. And, you know, there may, may have been mitigating factors within that last week. You know, the, it was a worn 3G pitch that... that where the, you know, the rubber's very dry and it holds the ball up and becomes very sticky and shifting the ball quickly out of your feet wasn't the easiest thing to do last week and we were you know, well in control of the game. Um, we have a, obviously a disappointing moment where we switch off and, and lose a bit of concentration for a corner that they take full advantage of and um, yeah, end up taking nothing from the game. But I think, like you say, today we've, <clears throat> we've come out, you know, some great passages of play, got in some good moments and really should have should have scored more than the two goals. I think there's been some other really good mo you know, that we should have probably stuck away. We don't, and clearly the game's always on the knife edge and, and right the way to the end. And again, you know, you have to give Stanford credit. It's a tremendous strike for their goal. It drags them back into the game and doesn't let us, uh, you know, we can't relax for one moment there and we have to see it right over the line. But it's good for players to come through situations like that and understand that they can come through those tight situations. They've got the steel and the nerve and the minerals to, you know, to get the other side of it. And they've done it on numerous occasions. And yeah, like I say, I'm sure we'll need to show that resolve moving forward right away through until the end of the season. I'm going to say it is eight games left now. I think we can expect probably some similar contests to that between now and the end of the season and, and you know if the aim of getting to a playoff place is achieved similarly again it's going to be that the games are going to be tight aren't they yeah i don't think there's you know there's not too many games that, that we're able to win in a canter at the moment um you know teams are, are strong and resilient and, and and understand uh you know what it takes to come here and you know there's some capable players that have come here on each and every side that we've faced here um and we yeah you know we need to and are very respectful of that and how hard you have to work each and every game and again you know credit to the lads in the change room <clears throat> they've, they've been able to show that that like i say that bit of togetherness and desire to, to work really hard at their game and you know get us over the line on, on numerous occasions and clearly yeah you have a taste of it you want a bit more of it and uh, Massive to bounce back after last week's disappointment, and um, hopefully, you know, we can pick up again on Tuesday. You say you mentioned Tuesday on 12 Church, um, you know, another 
a game on, you know, a, a surface that might not be the best and against teams. I think they've had a win today against Stourbridge. So, um, no, nothing taken, nothing taken for granted against them. Absolutely not. Um, you know, that again, as I just said earlier, a capable side that, that you give them chance, a moment, an opportunity on their day will, will hurt you. Um, we didn't, uh, you know, it wasn't easy for us to overcome Stourbridge here. Um, clearly going away from home makes it that little bit more difficult um, and you know if they have beaten Stourbridge today then it, it clearly like I say there's, there's there's no game that you can take easy and we certainly couldn't be taken not that we ever do we're not that's not what we're about um, but certainly you know we'll have to dust ourselves down and making sure that, that you know, we are able to regroup and everybody get out there and you know go and play to similar levels to what we saw today. Kevin thank you for your time as always. Thank you. Appreciate it.